Hey everyone, I'm Brandon from Nagios and today we're going to be showing you how to install Nagios XI using ESXi. So let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to navigate to Nagios.com and we'll scroll down until we see Nagios XI right here. We'll click download free trial and going into VMware workstation right here. Now, if you downloaded the OVA file earlier, these two OVAs are the exact same, so there is no need to reinstall it. However, if this is your first time seeing this page for this OVA here, you'll need to click download now, plug in all your information, and you will be redirected to a downloads page. I already have this OVA file from earlier, so I don't need to download it. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and navigate to our vSphere here. And at the top, we'll go Menu and click VMs and Templates. And we will right click on our data store and click Deploy OVF Template. Since we downloaded the OVA file, we will just click Local File, click Choose Files, and we will need to navigate to where we have the OVA file saved. Again, I have mine saved in a folder called Nagios. We will click Open and click Next. We will need to name our virtual machine our ESXi instance has a naming scheme, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in. You can name it whatever you would like, and then select your desired storage location. For the sake of this example, I'm going to leave mine right here at the top. We'll click Next. Click Next again. We'll click Next. Select where you would like to store this. Again, I'm going to leave mine right here. We'll click Next. This is going to be a bridged connection. If this is going to be an offline installation, please make sure that you have your network disconnected. We will click Next once more we're here. And this is the summary page showing all the specifications of the virtual machine. If you are dissatisfied with any of these settings, you can navigate back to the specific area on the left-hand side here where you can change your settings to what you desire and change it. When you are satisfied with your specifications of the virtual machine, you can click Finish. And as you can see right here at the bottom, the virtual machine is building and getting ready to deploy. So now as you can see right here at the bottom, our virtual machine is building. And what's going to happen here is we're going to get a question. As you can see at the bottom of our screen here, the VMs have finished building. We'll click on the left-hand side here. We'll click the name of the virtual machine. And we'll click the green play button to power it on. Again, at the bottom, we'll get a status bar of the powering of our virtual machine. If you get this question here, you'll click Answer Question, click No, and click OK. The virtual machine will finish powering on. And where it says Powered Off here, we will get what looks like a Linux terminal. We'll be able to click it and maximize the screen of our virtual machine. As you can see here, the virtual machine has finished powering on. We will click it into the console here and we'll click Web Console. We'll click OK. Just like before, we were given a IP address along with some default credentials. We're going to do the exact same thing we did earlier using those default credentials. So we'll go root and Nagios XI. And with our desired web browser, we can navigate to that IP address. And we will begin the final installation process of XI. Now that you have Nagios XI up and running, the next video is going to walk you through some of the most powerful features you can utilize immediately.